What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be making meatloaf. Meatloaf, we, Tyler wants corn, we're going to make mashed potatoes, and I'm going to make a can of carrots. Um, I'm going to get you guys turned around and set up, and um, it's just nothing special. It's just the way I cook it. I don't cook it the same every time. I might put more of one season or less of another season, or I'm not sure. The last time I cooked meatloaf, it was so good, but I don't know if I made a video doing it. Um, it was really delicious. So that's what, that's what I'm going to get set up here to do. I have everything out. I'll turn around and show you everything. All right, everyone. So I got two and a half pounds of ground beef sirloin. Um, I got three eggs in here and, um, two cans of corn, carrots. We got a box of mashed potatoes and then a bunch of seasonings. And it's early. It's only, it's not even seven o'clock. It's daylight outside, guys. It's a miracle. Um, all right, let me set you guys up. I gotta get a bowl, I gotta put my hair up, and um, I'm gonna mix up this meatloaf. All right, everyone. I'm gonna dump the ground sirloin in the pan. All right, everyone. So here we go. I'm gonna put three eggs in here. Um, just... And I save all my eggs because I once they dry out, I grind them up and I use them for fertilizer in the garden. And they're they're good like that. Once this is the last three in this container. And I will um, set them outside. And once they're completely dry, I'll bring them back in and I will grind them into a powderly substance. And I will show you. Here's the eggshells. And this is what they grind to. And plants love eggshells, it's a good source of calcium. Um, so I will um, grind those up when they're. When they're completely dry, I'll put them outside for, for a while. Um, I've never had any eggs mold, so, um, you know, as soon as all that yucky stuff is good enough, I'll, I'll grind them up. All right, everyone. I gotta get this mixed up before I get interrupted again. Oh my goodness. All right, we already got the eggs in there. Um, it's hard to make a video around here. Too many interruptions. Too many people in and out. Kelly brings her friends over. Um, I don't know. Just. Oop. All right. So a little Worcestershire sauce, a little soy sauce, um, three eggs. We have some Cavenders, which is empty now, so it can go in the garbage. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. That was a lot of pepper. We got some garlic salt, just a little bit of garlic salt. What onion powder, right? Yeah. Onion powder. Take your ingredients. A little hint of what? Corn. Corn. No. You want to mix it up with your fingers? No. Come on. No, I know you like to do that. I hate to do this. I'm gonna get the blender, guys. <laughs> I hate doing it. <laughs> Hopefully the blender's charged. It sounds like it. Where is the blender beads? Here they are. I bought myself a while back. Oh, it's been a good while. This cordless, I know you can't see it. I'm gonna show it to you. It is a cordless blender. And um, the battery dies pretty quick. So, looks like it needs wiped off. Uh oh, I gotta sneeze. Hey! 
Say bless you, Louie. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everyone. Here we go. Just blend it. Oh, I hurt my left hand at it. Sometimes I can't twist it a certain way. All right, guys, what am I missing? What am I missing? Who's yelling it? I'm missing crackers. I like lots of crackers. Some people use bread breadcrumbs. I always use crackers. And I always make a mess with them. I can't smush with my left hand. It won't it won't let me. It hurts when I twist it a certain way. And I, I was just rearranging my house, so I guess that's how I did it. I don't know how I hurt my hand. Alright, guys. It's going to be midnight before I'm done cooking. Battery died now. Alright, I got the, got the crackers in there. Mix them up. I might need to put more. It looks like I do. Add hole. My poor hand. Oh yeah, it definitely needs more crackers. And you know what else it needs? Ketchup. Lots and lots of ketchup. I knew it was missing something. Lots and lots of ketchup. Oh my goodness. Oh Lord. I ain't got no energy to open that. Hopefully Tyler walks back through. But I'm sure somebody will. That looks good. I hope I'm not missing something because I sure feel like I am. And you guys are probably yelling at me, telling me what I'm missing. Oh, oh I got it. I got it, Jay. There we go. All right, guys, more ketchup. I think I'm going to put some more crackers, too. Just got to find them. I hear Apollo in there whining. Sounds like Apollo. Alright, here we go. do it with my left hand it feels weird doing it with my right hand or sometimes I think I go back and forth my hand feels fine if I don't move it if I twist it the wrong way it hurts bad all right guys what do you think am I missing anything else spring now or forever hold your peace
All right, guys. I'm going to put a little bit more Worcestershire sauce in there. Because I think last time I put a lot in there. I, it really gave it a great flavor. Hopefully it doesn't, it's not too over, overbearing. But, um, and I think that's all I'm putting in there. I'm going to cook it on 350 for about, I don't know, 35 or 40 minutes. Probably about 30 minutes. And, and then I'm going to jack the heat up to 400. And I'm going to cook it for a little bit longer. Now these things are going to be gross to clean. Yeah, My mama would have just like rubbed it off with her fingers and ate it. Ugh. I can't even imagine. Bake at, we're going to do 375 only because I got to get the oven warm. And then I can put it back down. And I always cook it on a flat pan and I shape it myself. Take a bite of it, I dare you. No way. I was just telling them Mama always did that. Some people still eat raw hamburger. I bet, I bet your pap did. All the people back in the day, back in the day do it. I could not imagine. Yeah. It probably tastes really good. But I'm not eating it, so... I'm not doing that. I hope I didn't forget anything. I'm sure you guys are yelling at me if I did. And this is how I, I shape it. Oh, you guys aren't even looking. All right, guys. Got it on the pan. This is how I shape it. I know before I think somebody said I should put it in a meatloaf pan. I never do. I always cook it like this. I spread it out some. I only make it, you know, a couple inches thick on the sides. That way it cooks good. And I make sure it's even so that it cooks evenly. And that's how I do it. There's my meatloaf. How many of you guys do a meatloaf like this? Or do you guys use a meatloaf pan? Let me know in the comments. Um, let me wash my hands. Wash this bowl. Alright guys. Got it all ready. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of ketchup on top. Well, I more than that. <laughs> it didn't work very good. It was well, like you grab that brush that I, that you use for like the barbecue. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Since it was your idea, little Do you want to clean these things too? Yeah. You will here. Here. Get it, babe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tyler's going to brush the meatloaf. It's a good idea. Probably put a little bit more on there. Well, we will when I pull it back out. I don't know how all these things are going to be so gross. I think this thing needs charging. It's actually worked really good if you get all the sides. I put some crackers on top too. Probably could have waited until. I wonder if I turn that blender on with that meat in there in a bowl of water if it would clean it. I'm going to try it. All right, well, let's try some crackers. Yeah, we're not this time. Rinse it off, please. Yeah. There we go. This is the meatloaf. All right, everyone, we're waiting for the temperature to get up there, and um, what we used, we'll be back. Maybe we can put some on it. Hang on, it will move. Maybe next time we'll make it. We'll make it with Ritz. Okay. 
All right, everyone, the temperature's up. I am putting it in the oven. I'm gonna put it on the top shelf. Oh, I'm gonna put it on the, on the medium shelf. And we are gonna do, I'm gonna do 35 minutes. 35 minutes. I do have to take the temperature back down to 350. I'll do 355 in 35 minutes. So we'll see you back. All right, everyone. I'm gonna pull it out of the oven. I'm gonna jack the heat up to 400. I'm not gonna do it while it's in there because the bottom will get burned. Look at that. So now we're gonna put it up to 400 for about 15 minutes. But I'm gonna let it, let it come to temperature first. I can actually tie, I can actually do the temperature and see what the temperature is. I haven't got anything else started yet. If I knew I had more time. I just lost the top of that. I got the thermometer though. Let's see what it says. Right down the middle. I don't think it's going to be all the way done, and I want the top to glaze. I'm going to put some more ketchup on it. Um, I think it's supposed to be 165. It might be done all the way. It's at 150 now. One fifty-five. It's very close to being done. I'm just going to do like 15 minutes on the higher temperature. I might not even need 15 minutes. It's at 160 now and it's stopped. So 15 minutes is good. And um it'll be completely done. We know it'll be done. As soon as it comes to 400, I'm going to put it in for 15 minutes and then I will bring you guys back because I need to get started on the potatoes, the corn and all that good stuff. All right, guys, it's up to 400. We're going to do 15 minutes. Oh, I didn't put no more ketchup on it. What the heck am I doing? I was going to put more ketchup on it so it glazes up better. Put it up on 400. I'm not putting any more crackers. Just, just a little bit more ketchup. All right. Actually, I put a lot more ketchup. Move, move. All right. 15 minutes. Hopefully, you guys just see what I did. All right. Now we're gonna. Now we're gonna cook. Carrots are going in here. Back there. Tyler, corn's going in here, right here. I'll get Tyler to open all these for me because my hands are hurting. My left hand's really hurting. If I twist it the wrong way, it's okay. It's okay if I don't do nothing. Like right now, it doesn't hurt. But if I try to twist it like this, it hurts so bad right up in here. So I pulled it somehow. I mean, I, it hurts to even wear my watch. I had my watch on earlier, but it hurts to even wear my watch. I need Tyler to open the cans. Tyler. When I need someone, there's no one around. But when I don't need them, they're always here. All right, let me get the big pan out for the mashed potatoes. Oh. And then the mashed potatoes will go over here. And then when I pull the meatloaf out, it'll go here. I know you guys can't see me. Let's see if you can see the stove and me. Not that you need to see me. <laughs> My head's still cut off. Oh. 
All right, how's that? <laughs> All right, so, Tyler, will you open them cans for me, please? What happened? What do you mean, what happened? My hand, my one hand hurts too bad to try to twist. All right, so we're gonna make, how many servings, six or more? You want more? Six servings takes two cups of flakes. I think we have a lot more flakes than two cups. So if we wanted more than six servings, I know Tyler loves mashed potatoes. So I could probably make, oh yeah, we have plenty. So, do you want me to make 10 cup, 10 servings? Whatever. Okay, so we need three and a half cups of flakes. Three and a half cups. Oh, well I guess I should do the water first. Water, we need three and a third cup of water. Three and a third cup. You got them all? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. There's two. Let's see if I can find three and a third. That fucking, oh, that hurt my hand. That twist hurt my hand. Three and a third. I'm left-handed, guys, so I do everything. I am just automatically do everything with my left hand. And um, uh, it, it's bad. The only thing is, guys, one good thing is when I had surgery on both of my hands, like I had one hand at a time, when I had it on my left hand first, because I use my left hand the most, I realize that I do a lot of things with my right hand. I use scissors with my right hand. I go to the bathroom with my right hand. So um, when my left hand's down and out, at least I'll, at least I'll be able to go to the bathroom. Um, but there's a lot of things that I do with my right hand that I didn't realize it until I had surgery on my left hand and wasn't able to do anything with my left hand. All right, so I got three and a third. Let me see what else it calls for. Um, five tablespoons of butter since we're making that much. How many is in a thing? One, two, three, four, five. Well, we'll use this thing. Alright, there we go. Well, I'll probably put some butter in the um, carrots, maybe. I like the way Tyler makes the carrots. He makes them sweet. We make the corn. Oh, I keep doing it with my left hand. Let's see, the back burner, right there, back burner, right there, and then this burner, right there. It's hard not to do things with your left hand when you're used to. Until you twist your hand and it hurts. Now we need a little bit of salt as optional. We'll put some in there anyways. And milk. So I think I need to, let's see, combine. I don't know you put the milk in now. Three-fourths and one-half. So what's that, that? That's a whole cup of milk. I think the milk smelled funny today. I drank it anyways, but no, I guess it's okay. It expires tomorrow, I think. 
22. I think that's tomorrow. But it's only 2% milk, so 2% milk lasts a lot longer. Alright. There's that. And then we will need the flakes, but not yet. Not yet. this started. Did I set a timer for the... Oh, I didn't. Hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. I forgot to set a timer for the meatloaf. Alright guys, I walked away for a second to go do something. And I made a major mess. I flooded the stove. Big time mess, so I'm going to have to measure all that out again. This flooded too. So I got a mess to clean up. See, this is this is what happens. <laughs> That's why it's not a professional cooking show, because all this would have been hidden. They would have never showed you if, if they did this. This is probably something you guys do once in a while. Oh my god, my poor hand. I destroyed the stove. Look at that. Oh well, that's life. Good thing Tyler caught it. We might have had a bigger mess. It might have been real bad, babe. Now I gotta measure out all that stuff again. All right, everyone. I finally got it um, cleaned up. What a mess. And now I have a mess on the floor below me. Got a major mess everywhere. The meatloaf is done. I'm trying to clean up the mess that I made. Oh my goodness. I think it might need a little bit more water. I think what I'm going to do is put, put more milk in there. I'm just going to pour some in there. I have plenty of um, flakes. I can just make it right if it's not. I don't have the right amount. All right. Jeez. Got to get the meatloaf out. Bottom's probably going to be burnt. It is a little bit. Dang it. Meatloaf is done. And the other stuff, it won't take long. The corn's definitely done. This here, I'm going to have to heat back up. Let's see. We'll turn it there. And we've got to turn this back on. goes over there. Um, I have to get Tyler in here to do the, um, we'll do the meatloaf this way. It's upside down. Let me do it this way. 
I'm sure it's done. Looks delicious. Little burn on the bottom. It's climbing fast. It's already at 153. 160. I think it's done. Slowing down. <laughs> Come on, it's got to be done. It stopped at 163. Well, shit fire. All right, well, let me just, I turned the oven off. Let me just throw it back in there. The bottom looks a little burnt. Let me just throw it back in there until this stuff is done. The center of it, 163. Maybe I should have left it on. All right, we'll just leave it on. I'll set it for like 10 minutes so I don't forget while I'm cooking this in case something goes wrong with this. Um, I gotta put some sugar in the corn. I'm gonna back you guys up again. Louie's like on the floor, like licking everything up. All my mess. Louie, quit. Go away, dude. Tyler. All right. So I'm gonna put some... Some... Somebody's been dipping this thing back in here with it wet. I don't know who's been doing that, but they need to quit. Somebody must be dipping it in their coffee. Tyler likes sugar in his corn. How many of you guys put sugar in your corn? We made two cans of corn, so. I like corn, but it doesn't like me. Hopefully that's enough sugar. I don't know what all he puts in the, um, the carrots to make them taste so good. I know, I think he puts brown sugar in them. All right, guys. All right, guys. Brown sugar and maple syrup is what he puts in the in the um, carrots. I don't know how much. But we're just gonna wing it and see what it see. The maple syrup. Oh goodness. My maple syrup. Pancake sauce. I don't know if he leaves the juice. I guess he does. They're probably not healthy no more. <laughs> oh well. What is healthy anymore, right guys? Nothing. I went to the market and it's like nothing is healthy anymore. Hopefully his corn's good. If not, he can add more sugar. All right. I'm gonna put the mashed potatoes in. I gotta get rid of all this cleaning stuff. Oh my goodness. I had such a mess. All right, so we're going to put the flakes. We'll start out. Oh, I'm probably going to make a mess. I'm probably better off just to pour them in. I'm just pouring them in. I'm not even using a measuring cup. As you know, I'm going to make a mess. nice and hot. We're just going to slide it off the burner so I don't get popped. Just 
can stir it up. And if it's not thick enough, I'll make it thicker. If it's too thick, we'll add some milk. It might be too thick. <laughs> I don't think I like this um mmm that was too hot. Too hot. Crap. I don't like that spoon. It bends and it doesn't. I'm not used to stirring with this hand. Yeah, I need to add a little bit of milk. I'm having issues tonight. I guess I stir with my left hand, guys, because um, I'm having issues. Where's the meat like that? In that thing, it was only at 163, and it's supposed to be 165. All right, that's good enough because I can't do it no more. You want to stir the potatoes? Stir or stop stirring. They look good. They look good with some butter in there. Mm -hmm. And all that butter. And all of this butter. Oh shoot! It went on the thing. He said all the butter, and they walked away. Gotta be covered up. Oh my god, I am making a mess. I am making a mess. I thought I just seen a hair. Oh lord. This cooking show is over. Damn. It better taste good. Louie's down here licking the floor. All right. Good enough. Guys, I will see you at the dinner table. I'm a little aggravated. <laughs> Things just didn't work out the way I wanted them to work out. But I'll see you at the dinner table. All right, guys. It is late. It's after nine o'clock at night. It, I've had so many things stop this video start, stop, start, stop, start. Um, the meatloaf did time at like one, I think it went up to 170 this last time. So it's done. There's my food. Tyler's sitting right here beside me. He's like, ah, I'll just sit beside you. Yeah, mine's almost gone already though. That's why. <laughs> he started eating before I even sat down. Mmm. Well, the carrots aren't as good as they are when you make them. Do you take the juice out? No. I did something wrong. He makes them really sweet. And you guys seen how much brown sugar I put in there. Mm, they're good, though. Nice and hot. How's the meatloaf? Good. That's one try it. Mmm, it is really good. It needs to cool off a lot. <laughs> it needs to cool off so I can eat it and enjoy it. Um, but it's really good. It's real good, huh? We were going to have um, some more squash this week. But we decided to have the squash next week. So, um, I'm not exactly sure what all we're cooking. I think, I think next week we're going to cook, um, 
some more chicken and um, pasta. That what is it? Chicken lo mein. Mm -hmm. um, we've made it before. I don't know if he'll do anything different. He might. Um, but that's what we're gonna have um, next week. Mm. It's good. My hand's okay until I go to turn it this way. And then it's, I don't know what I did. I pulled something. It's a little swollen right there. Not too bad. It was pretty bad yesterday. Oh, you could see it, can't you, Tyler? Mm -hmm. You can see the little swollen right there. So whatever it is, it's right there. Um, when you can't use your dominant hand, you see what you what you are able to use in your other hand. <laughs> Wasn't there a time you had to see what you could do in your with your other hand? I broke my collarbone twice, so yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Two times, my arm was like this for three months. How'd you write? Did you go to school and write? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Tyler's a lefty too, and so is Haley. Everybody in, that, in my household's a left-handed person. Mmm. Hopefully by tomorrow it doesn't hurt, or even the next day. Hopefully it stops hurting. It's not as bad today as it was um, yesterday. Yesterday was awful. It just depends on what I decide to pick up and try to move. Today I couldn't, I couldn't move the TV stand. I'm used to being able to, to pick up and drag or or not drag, I don't drag because I don't want to scratch my floor. But I pick it up and move it out. I'm used to being able to do all that stuff. And it sucks when you know, my hand is so bad that I can't pick up anything heavy. It hurts too bad. This meatloaf is delicious. Let me know if you guys make the meatloaf the same way as I do. Or if you add, up, add other things. I mean, I could have added onions or whatever. But I just added onion powder. Um... Let me know what all you put in your meatloaf. Maybe I'll make it like you guys make it. Oh, Lord. Kissy, kissy face at the door. Go kiss her, Louie. Go give her kisses. Stop barking. Stop barking. Delicious. Make him stop barking. Louie, stop barking. Louie. Well, guys, it's delicious. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um... Sorry about the mess I made. I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Peace.